was like, I just want to like, you know, a little one-on-one, a little one-two, you know, let's get to know each other just one-on-one. Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to our channel. Yes, you're in the right place, even though it's just me, Nelly. Where is Eddie? Well, actually, um, no, actually, I'm just hijacking the channel for like a quick little like story time. So just stick around. You're just going to get a full segment of me. <laughs> anyway, since you're already here and lurking, go ahead and click that big red subscribe button and give the video a big thumbs up because you're going to love this story time. Let's just jump right into the story or whatever. <laughs> So this is going to be a story time about the time that me and my roommate, we got followed home from the club. Wild times, wild times, okay. So anyways, just backstory. So like back in my college days, cause I'm like educated or whatever, me and my roommate, we used to go out all the time. All the time, every weekend, didn't matter what was going on. We were there, we were the party. I'm sure y'all can relate. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna say her name. So let's just call her. Caitlin. Let's, let's, Caitlin. Just a backstory, me and Caitlin were really close. Really close, we started out like we were just long lost sisters. But by the end of it all, we weren't. <laughs> but that's a whole other story time, so we'll talk about that later. And actually, during this time that we went out, I believe was already the time that we weren't talking. So I know you're saying, Chanel, if we weren't talking, how come y'all were going out? We don't understand. Well, when you're in college, you just need somebody to go out with. So we had an understanding. Whether we were friends or not talking or we hated each other or we were sisters during that time, it didn't matter. We went out religiously every Friday, every Friday without fail. We didn't have to text each other. We didn't have to call. We didn't have to knock on each other's door. We were just ready to go at 10 45 because you know late free before a certain time woo woo yeah nah. but you don't like to get there too early because like <laughs> dead so like you know we wait till the party's popping off but we would still get there in enough time to get in for free because like i said college kids were in a budget <laughs> somebody's got to buy the noodles <laughs> we went out like we normally do every friday so we get to the club and the club is actually called Roxy. Those of you from Texas or like Houston, y'all know the Roxy or whatever, right? And mind you, we had our own apartment, so it wasn't. I don't know if that's a necessary detail to the story, but just know we had our own apartment. But I digress. Moving on. We leave the house, we get to the club, you know, we don't have to wait in line, you know, we're there, we're real cute, we're at, uh, mm, uh, get, get money, get money, we get it in. Actually, no, I, I, I can dance a whole lot better than that, I'm just, you get it. Okay, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked, so we're gonna get to the juicy part of the story right okay caitlin and i are there we're having a good time we didn't really talk to anybody i think we maybe ran into a couple of friends or something but we didn't talk to strangers you know we went we danced we act like we were best friends even though we hadn't talked to each other that all week but it's what we did we were committed to being that that party girl we were committed. We were committed no matter what. It was in the night. Of course, we shut the party down once the club closed. That's when we left. Not a moment sooner, not a moment later. Hey, girls, you got to get out of here. Come on now. The place is closed. You got... 
nothing out of the ordinary. We leave the party. Bye, bye, Sienna. <laughs> we get in our car. Still nothing out of the ordinary. We're driving home. This is where it starts to get loud. So we're driving, we leave out of the parking lot, and then of course everybody's leaving and everyone has to go out the same way. So nothing trippy. So we turn out onto the main street, onto Westheimer. We're driving. Now I've noticed that, which I think is West Alabama. So I noticed that the car turned onto two streets that's right behind us. And I'm like, okay, I, I noticed this when I'm in my mind, I'm like, okay, no big deal. West Time is the main road. Uh, you know, people are just going home. No big deal at this point. We pass two lights, three lights, four lights. Car's still behind us. Okay. I mean, hey, we ain't got that far yet. So maybe, you know, you see, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So two, three more lights, that car. And I'm just like, so at this point I'm, I'm kind of on high alert, but I don't say anything because for one, I don't, I don't know for sure. Two, I don't want it to be true. And three, I don't want to freak out someone who's driving. Like, I don't know what her reaction is gonna be. Let me just be sure that, that this is what's actually happening before I just send us into, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go take a look at my So I didn't wanna do that. We turn onto our street that we live off of. Which I don't live down there anymore, but I'm still not going to say what street it was. If you know me, you know what street I'm talking about. So we turn off into our street that we lived on at the time. At this point, I know I'm like, I was like, okay, like this is just too much of a coincidence. Like, if they turn into this neighborhood, I'm going to know for sure. We pull up. <laughs> I'll put in a little gate code. Woo -woo. And we drive on in. This car is following us. And... Suddenly, the, the twerking was not worth it. Suddenly, the drop in like I was not worth it. Suddenly, being cute in the dress, the makeup, it, it wasn't worth it. I was about to die. I just, it couldn't be how my story was going to end. I had to quickly come up with a plan. Cause I wasn't gonna go out like that. If I was gonna go out, I was gonna go out with a fight or with a hell of a good run. When we when we got in and we're driving, she's looking for a parking spot and we had to turn around cause our where we live at the time, our apartment complex got full. And if you're in Houston or if you're in Texas, you know parking ain't about. It ain't about sh I don't care where you live. It, parking's terrible. As she's finding a parking spot, I tell her I was like, okay. I'm gonna need for you to not panic. And she's like, What do you mean? Someone followed us home. When you park the car, you're going to have to run. She said, <laughs> Yeah, she's so good. She's so good. No, Caitlin. I am crazy, but I'm being dead. So when we park the car, I'm gonna need for you to run. Can you run? Oh yeah, oh yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? No, no, no. I don't need for you to panic. Not right now. It's not what I need. Cause it come down to me and you, me or you. I mean, we haven't talked for a week. I'm kinda gonna just have to say it myself. No, I'm just joking, I'm joking. I would totally help her. I would say, look, if you need to take off your heels, if you need to blah, 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 go ahead and do it now. But let me tell you, you ain't got a whole lot of time. When you stop this car and when you park, it's going to be time to, you know what I'm saying? I need you to, I need you to, you know what I'm saying? The apartment complex that we lived in, we had for other friends that lived there that went to our school. I got on the phone with them. I was like, hey, 
Someone's following us. Meet us at our apartment. Hey, dude. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Somebody following us. Don't ask a whole bunch of questions. Meet us at our apartment. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What you mean? What you mean? Oh, my God. Man, why would you call black people? Okay, well, one on one black. But why is it when you call people in a time of crisis? They just want to be like, Why the fuck would you at? Why the fuck would you doing? Why the fuck you ain't calling me? I am calling you. I, I don't need all the questions right now. Just need you to be on board. Be ready. Someone's following us. Be at the apartment. Help us out. <laughs> you know, cat, cat. Shank, shank, what? She parks the car, I kid you not. When she pulls into the parking spot, this psycho follows her into the parking spot. So this is her. She, and then this is him. Followed her, almost crashing to her car, following her all the way into her parking spot. I was like, see, see, she was like, okay. I said, so, all right, you park, you done. He's gotta go find somewhere to park, but you need her, so. Like I said, when I was in college, I ain't really been wearing heels that long. I mean, I wore heels a few times when I was, you know, but you, I mean, I want no baby deer or nothing. I'm saying is, I, I, I was just getting used to walking and now all of a sudden I had to run in six inch stiletto stripper heels. And my life depended on it. So I learned real quick. You know, it's just, it's just what I had to do because I'm just like a quick learner or whatever. And I guess what you do in college, right? You learn how to run heels. So it's like, whatever. She, I was on my door. Caitlin was on her door. I said, okay, on count three, get out of run. One, two, three. And I took a vroom. And I was just hoping she was behind me. I just vroom. And I, 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 and just let me pause. I did go into mommy mode because at the end of the day, I'm a mom. Like not for all our kids, but like I'm a mom at heart. Like I will do what I have to do to take care of my friends, my family. Like I'm a mom. I've always been a mom. You can ask my mom. She'll tell you that. I'm like I'm her mom. So like you know. <laughs> So, we ran to our door. We got into our, our, our apartment, our building, the building that we lived in. We got to that door. Got in there, we kind of like, oh, okay, we think, I think we lost them. I think, I think we're good. We had an elevator in our building. I don't know why we didn't just go up the steps. I guess that was part of just like being that like dingy college mentality of we weren't drinking so no no we weren't drinking we just we were just dumb we were just dumb <sighs> why do i keep saying so like take a shot every time i say so or whatever or like give me a like or leave a comment every time i say so <laughs> and anyways i'm sorry and i keep saying anyways and so but let's just get back into the story so, so we are walking <laughs> to the elevator and we hear the door that we just came into the building we hear it go i was like run So we're doing all this extra. So we're running and then we get to the elevator and we're like, <laughs> this is us pushing buttons. So we're like, oh my God, oh my God. And we heard the footsteps. Why we didn't head for the other set of stairs, I don't, I don't know. So the elevator door is open. We hear the person walking towards it. We hear them walking to the elevator and we're in the elevator and we're like, <laughs> We're trying to get the doors to close. So the doors close and we're just like, 
Okay. And then, so then all of a sudden, we're like, best friend. Like, oh, yeah, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, Caitlin, oh, my gosh, I love you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dumb, right? So we get upstairs. Our friends were there. They were like, oh, my gosh, like, what happened? Are you guys cool? Like, da -da -da. And they, like, circled the perimeter. They made sure the guy left. They made sure that, he, you know, he didn't follow us upstairs or whatever. Anticlimactic ending to the story. Obviously, we were not killed. We were not kidnapped. Um, we lived to see another day. We lived to twerk another day. So, what did we learn from all of this? Uh, Maybe you don't drive home. Like, if you think someone's following you, probably don't drive on the way home. If you realize that after the fact, probably, you probably don't get out and run. Uh, also, don't take the elevator. Jesus was on our side. But you know what? Actually, this was not the only near-death experience that I experienced with this Caitlyn girl. Those are other stories for other days. All was well, that ended well. We still lived the party another day. We still went back to the same club. Hey, it's the risk you take when you're partying. You look good, yeah. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> no, that's not cute. That's not even funny. Anyways, that was just something that was on my mind and I just wanted to hijack our channel. Um, Eddie, I hope you don't mind that I'm posting without you, yeah. but no, he he's uh. Edward, do you care that I'm making a video without you? See, he doesn't care. No, 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 I don't, I don't care, Chanel. I love that you're making content without us. Oh, you're so sweet. Anyways, that's all I have for this story time. I hope it wasn't too lame for you guys. It was just something that was on my mind. I have plenty of little college stories. I have plenty of stories I can tell you about um, just my 20s thus far. Anyways, thank you for watching. This has been my story time. And come back uh, next time because we upload every single Wednesday. Every Wednesday we upload a brand new video and most of the time it's me and my husband. So if this is your first time coming to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I know it's weird just seeing me, but I'm cool, so it's fine. <laughs> you guys enjoy the rest of your week, your weekend. Enjoy your coffee, enjoy your kids, enjoy work. If you're at work, get back to work or whatever it is you're doing. Go ahead and click a thumbs up and click subscribe and also follow us on all of our other social media right here 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 ah, 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 ah. yeah see you in the next one bye the party ain't a party it's playing Eyebrow was itching. So we started running. We're running. And we're like, Ooh, right? So we're like a busted. I didn't do my hair. Um, ponytail.